right guys what's up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video and in this video guys we have quite the gun i want to play around with today that's going to be none other than the bite size jacobs uh pistol here so this thing is quite the uh quite the heat it's it's uh, it's, quite, it's quite the package you know what i'm saying Oh, we have the 5150 on it, uh, courtesy of the homie Nesquik. He was kind enough to throw this R away. Thank you so much, my guy. Uh, it looks pretty insane. It has 15,000 damage. It looks like a duck. Or, like, not, the, not, not, not an actual duck. I'm talking about the duck in the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my G? But, yeah, it looks like one, but it, it, it's not one for sure. So, uh, let me actually go ahead and talk about this thing, right? So, uh, I'm pretty sure this weapon can only be obtained uh, via third-party programs. Uh, I know some people out there have been talking about it. I actually had a request for this gun uh, in yesterday's video, which is kind of why we're doing this one today. Uh, but if we actually go ahead and like look at what this thing does, uh, his create large iridium novas, bullets that stick, uh, bullets stick to impact point and de and explode after a short time. On impact, bullets deal 40% of the listed damage right here. Then, uh, while secondary explosions deal 160% of the unlisted damage. Critical hits deal 100% of the list of damage, while secondary explosions on critical hits deal 400% of the list of damage, and that does not take into account any sort of, I don't know, fire in the skag bin or torch cross for motion that we might have. Uh, obviously, being Moe's, we're gonna blow a bunch of shit up today, or at least that's the plan. Uh, so, here's our setup. Uh, here's our blood letter, uh, splash and weapon damage, a little bit of grenade damage. Uh, our beautiful front loader, uh, soldier Vic Rush. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play around with this one. I was gonna put on a pearl, but nah, we'll just play. We'll just play with this one. And then we have our hex grenade. And this is the same uh, setup that we, or like skill trees that we used yesterday with the rip you a new one. And yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure that's everything I want to talk. Oh yeah. Uh, I do want to talk about, you know what I'm saying, if y'all have been enjoying this stuff recently, uh, any likes and or if you're new here, a subscription uh, would totally be appreciated. It's free. We're on the road to 5K, trying to hit that by the end of the year. Uh, so if you'd be so kind, if y'all enjoying the stuff and you watch and you come here regularly, you know, make that uh, this, the red subscribe button. You know, just get a little love to that for me. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, though, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, boys, we're here at the Guardian Takedown. Figure, you know, this is always a pretty decent spot to start. Uh, let's see what this thing is actually going to be capable of uh, outputting today. Uh, I do got to say, this gun is pretty cool. This is a gun I would love to run a Minesweeper on. But since we have the 5150, I think it, it just makes more use uh, if we just uh, run... Ugh, God bless myself, dude. Since we're running 5150, I think it's just a better idea for us to roll with the oh, blood letter just to make sure that we have a little bit more sustainability instead of running Half-Life Moe's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I have no corrosive damage. Okay. Mostly just our radiation damage. This thing's uh, pretty... Dude, this thing shoots Novas, bro. And I think that's probably the coolest part. I wonder, and ooh, dude, I'm thinking like, what if we put this gun on flag? Obviously, you know, Jacob's guns I generally like to use on flag, but this one has a lot of splash behind it, which is why I want to use it on Moe's first. This thing's pretty cool. Guys, also, we are, like, legitimately six days away now from the DLC. Uh, that is going to be so much fun. It's going to be great. I can't wait. This bite size is really cool. Oh, yeah, you're done, bro. This thing's pretty sick. This is literally my first time ever even using this gun, dude. <laughs> an IB hop back out dude these invading uh, my, my, I, I seriously don't know how to say that 
Montecores, bro. Montecores. I mean, that's how it looks like you say Montecores, bro. Oh, wait. The, I, I just call them the tanky bastards, bro, because they're tanky and they're bastards. Because, like, bro, look at these things. Look at these guys. Complete tanks. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap up. We're going to kill, like, maybe a couple more enemies, guys, and then we're actually going to head over to the Jacob's Estate. All right, boys, so we're here at the, uh, I almost said the Guardian Takedown again. We're here at the Jacob's Estate. Now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Dot damage. Forgot about that. Dot damage is kind of a thing. Yeah, so this Bite Size, a.k.a. the Duck Revamped. It's pretty insane. Just, uh, just a little bit. Really can't wait to put a, the cherry on top of this whole thing whenever we take this. Well, excuse me. Uh, that was very unnecessary to just knock me over like that, dude. I'm uh, not just a piece of plywood. You can just sit down like that, my guy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh, my gosh. Really? What kind of limp throw was that? I literally just limped through those grenades, man. Come on, man. And... It's those secondary explosions, bro, that do the most damage, honestly. I feel like this gun would be really good with, I mean, okay, first off, any good, good, any gun is good with a minesweeper. But I really feel like this one would be, like, would really stand out with one, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and wrap up this last dude. And uh, well, let's go ahead over to the Malawan takedown, boys. All right, fellas, we're here at the Malawan takedown. We're trying to pick, we're trying to hit some heads with this puppy. Really want to make sure, really want to try and get the mo the maximum uses out of this thing. Oh, hammer down protocol makes it so easy to get rid of the buddy systems, man. It makes me just, it just makes me smile. Sorry, Battle Wolf. You're done, buddy. You're done. I'm done. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. The bite size. Look at this thing, bro. Wow, dude, I really cannot wait for all the DLC guns. Those are like some of my favorite parts of the DLC. Is covering the new guns, man. New showcase! New showcase! Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do y'all see my hammer down protocol? Just like curve upward like a parabola? <laughs> I could have sworn I shot that surely at the ground. Oh, well, whatever. This thing is, this thing is ridiculous, bro. This thing's pretty fun, dude. Fun too, I said fun do. Jesus, it's one of those days. Y'all ever have one of those days, bro? We're all just like tripping? Or just like mispronouncing your words? That's me. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Kraken. If you would uh, so kindly uh, spontaneously combust, I would uh, be greatly appreciated. Okay, laser fear. I see you. I see you trying to ruin my day, but uh, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work on me, my guy. It ain't gonna work. I'm not back in Iron Bear. I'm gonna drop some nukes on you guys like that. You can't handle the heat. You're not built for the heat. Hey, wait, well, where do you think you're running, boy? Where do you think you're running, boy? Yeah, dude. The secondary explosions do the most damage. For sure, Flex luster just a wee bit there, Mike. Yo, I really hope they put in like a god tier artifact in DLC 4 and they give us some new comms, bro. Like, that was like my only gripe with DLC 3 is that we just didn't get any new comms, man. It's literally we're gonna be pushing six months this month, uh, without any new comms. Like, isn't that crazy, dude? I'm just saying, bro. I'm j I'll just say it. All right, let's uh, let's put you back up there. You know what I'm saying? Let's get you into your uh, little immune phase there, right? Quit running. Why are you running? Why am I cryoed? All oh, right, I forgot you. Let's add a little cryo nova things. Gearbox knows we hate being cryo, so they put more enemies with cryo damage in it. All right, bad. Put it up. 
Let that out. Come on, Valks. Y'all don't want any of what I... Y'all don't want any of what I'm having right now. Y'all don't want any any ounce of this. Y'all don't want any smoke, guys. I'm just letting you know. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. You, you, you are the biggest wuss of them all. You instantly jump down and instantly run away. Later. <laughs> all right, fellas. So we're here at the uh, with the bridge part. This is always one of the more intense parts of the uh, videos. But uh, let's see what you uh, can put. Uh, let's see what you got, bite size. Yeah, bite size this. I'm just kidding. You're done. You're done. Yeah, y'all can't. Y'all can't handle the heat, bro. We don't even need corrosive. We don't even need corrosive for you armored enemies, bro. You're not even worth it. You're not even worth it, bro. It's definitely the secondary explosions on the bite size that, like, honestly really get it going. I bet this thing with, like, a splash in it would be a complete god. Oh, hey, man. I didn't know you were going to be trying to be in my second wind. With your flamethrower, heavyweight, fire and sky, getting immunity looking ass. Thank you, my guy. I appreciate it. Boomski. Excuse me, Mr. Door. Would you like to open up, please? I got some skaboomskis I want to show your way. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, my God. Fucking buddy system, dude. Jesus. Like, get out of the corner. Uh, get out of if we're not able to hit crits, man, our uh, our piss poor damage is going to be even more piss poor. You know what I'm saying, bro? And we have no corrosive damage. So this might actually be. T this might actually take longer than I thought. All right, that's fine. That works. We can, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. What? What just? Oh, how did you even get up here, dude? Seriously. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see the nick of like how fast we got out of there and like the nick of time? Um, that was like a little too close for comfort. Oh my god, what time you did not ever dodge like that, my guy. At least when we split the bottom half has a pretty hittable crit spot. Oh, he's definitely my most, uh, my least favorite, uh, friend. Enemy in this darn takedown right here, bro. Is that bottom half of Wotan, bro, with his stupid jumps. At least the flying one flies and doesn't have to, you know, doesn't have a chance to jump on my head. You know what I'm saying, though? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, come on, bite size. I know you. I know you got more in you, buddy. All right, here we go for the splits. I'm really gonna try and focus down on you. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Yes. Those grenades are way too accurate, if you ask me, dude. Like, they should not be that accurate. Like, look at these things, dude. They're, I'm just saying, they're a little too accurate, if you ask me. Why is this dude jumping so much? I'm gonna, yep, yep. I'm cryoed. And those grenades don't fucking miss. <laughs> if I'm cryo, bro, I know I'm gonna go down. Cause that the, the Wotan's better bottom half grenades, though, those things just don't miss. Oh boy. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's just... Hold on, let me just uh skadoosh and some of these out of my way. They're kind of uh pissing me off, man! Oh gosh, yeah, having no corrosive and just radiation and fire damage on a, on an armored enemy sometimes doesn't like do it. Sometimes isn't like the best of ideas, guys. 
forgot, yeah, you can just kind of fling one grenade at me and I instantly die, bro, because of my one HP, no health gear looking ass. It's lame. I really feel like a mind super would help this thing out a lot. But I just do not want to run Half Life like that, dude. Not mode, not Half Life modes. When we have, when we have access to, I was, I popped my Iron Bear, bro. I'm just saying that's cap. I should 100% be an Iron Bear right now. Hey, look at that. We're an Iron Bear right now. Pet that up. Don't you dare. Okay, dude. I, I, nope, 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 nope. Yo, what? There's a perk that allowed you to like move faster while driving, like driving while aiming down sights. Wow. Dude, I... Those grenades are like, those things are just, they just don't miss, bro. They just don't miss. So I feel like our bite sites have done a pretty good job so far, except for the damage department and against like some of the tankier enemies. I just gotta hit the crits, man. That's like really the only thing. With this gun, you really gotta hit your crits. You gotta make use of those secondary explosions. Oh, that and, you know. We have no corrosive damage right now. We're trying to just brute force it with our fire in the skag bin. You already know. Oton, you're, you're, gonna, you're going down, homie. You're going down, buddy. Stinger, excuse me, bud. I'm not even focused on you. At least there's no projectile speed. Whenever there's no gun that doesn't have projectile speed on, it makes it way easier to shoot the top half of Wotan. Okay, guys, so I, I wanna, you know, I did say that the Wotan might be a pain in the butt just a little bit because, you know what I'm saying? Kind of the same butt as we were yesterday with uh, having no corrosive damage, but it's all good, we made it work. Just wanna show the case this gun. Try to put in some brute force work, although, you know, finding this gag den does kind of help out a lot. It's kind of why we did decide to do the showcase on Mobs. Uh, I probably would give this gun like okay after like first run through with it right i would probably give it a at least a solid seven out of ten it's really unique uh for sure but i feel like uh at some points like the uh, the damage was a little bit less than what i what initially was expecting to see but it's all good you know i still feel like this gun's pretty good it's, it's really hard for guns to be like complete terrible these days unless you're a malix bane but other than that you know it's it could be pretty useful uh, real quick guys, the one last second setup, here's the bite size itself, pretty cool, pretty cool. Our ammo cache front loader, our nice recurring hex grenade, our pearl, we also were running, uh, where's our Vic Rush, right here with the uh, AOE damage and uh, movement speed. Then here's our blood letter with the 5 in a different measure of splash and weapon damage, and then here's our specs. And yeah, guys, real quick, uh, if you all have been enjoying the content, make sure to go ahead and, you know, drop a little like. And a, if you're new around here, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and subscribe. Apparently, YouTube says that 80% of the people who watch my stuff aren't even sub. But that's most YouTubers out there, so I'm saying if you want to bump that percentage up, make it subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Real quick, I want to give a huge shout out uh, to all of our members here. We have the homie Joshua Southgate, Jason, hyphen, Chris Lively, Squirrel with the Gun, Ronaldo, and Lost Grace. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are some true homies. Anyways, though, guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. My name's Cree. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.